<laughs> Actually, that's much better. I'm not gonna lie. That room is a bit depressing. I'm not gonna lie, right? Him waking up on that big bed with no bad bitches, right? No fucking, no rubbers on the floor, right? No, you know what I mean? No honey packs on the fucking side of the bed stand. But at least, you know, it's well shot. I weigh myself first thing in the morning. I, I'm usually not pleased with my results. Brush my teeth. Oops, sorry, I'm gonna lower the bit right a bit. Is that something? Hold on. Is that something people do normally? They weigh themselves every day in the morning. I always thought that was something people did if they had like an eating disorder or if they were fat or if they were into fitness and shit. Like, I weigh myself here and there, but I don't think I weigh myself every day, every morning. It's a bit weird. Is that not weird? Like, why are you just... Oh, yeah, no shower. Yeah, true, I didn't clock that, Z. Exactly, yeah. No shower. So he wakes up and what the... Uh, no, but, but I know some people who like to wake up and have a coffee first before they shower. Right, I know that's a thing too. They have their breakfast and then they go into a shower after. Me, personally, I, I would prefer to just shower first and then eat, you know? Because then you can, you know, if you if you wash your hair, you can use that time while you're having a coffee to dry your hair or to make whatever. Do you know what I mean? You can do all that stuff um, while you're having your coffee and shit. It's still a bit dark at 5 a.m. So I need to get the lights on. I started drinking a shot of apple cider vinegar in the morning. It's supposed to help with fat burning. Make coffee. <laughs> then I go to the studio checking. <laughs> it's a nice crib though. I'm not gonna lie. It's a fucking really big and nice crib. Very spacious. Um, huge fucking crib. I don't like how he's showing where he lives a little bit. There's a lot. There's a bit too much information on where he lives. If you can, you know, you map out the location. You watch his other vlog where he looks at the apartment. You can kind of figure out where he lives. I don't think it's the smartest idea. But he's not that well known because if you were a mean person, you'd probably find out a way to break into his house and fucking steal all his equipment jeremy because he's got a lot of fucking expensive fun shit in there so he's probably doing a bit too much showing us up but it's a nice house nice spread but damn man niggas lonely i drink my coffee while watching youtube yeah. already from a minute in this is way more this is edited way better than the previous ones i love how every time he switches a switch he cuts so this feels like he's done a lot more work and even the music fits the fucking, you know, it fits the thing. I love how he walks like an, I love how Asian people have that thing where they walk, where they drag their feet. Can you hear his, his sandals dragging on the floor? Why do Asian people walk like that? He loves dragging, he's dragging his feet like a real Asian. Even though he thinks he's white and he's a Texan person, he loves that fucking dragging of the feet. You can hear it, look, hear the sound, look. <laughs> Asian people love dragging their feet. They love it. I check on the recent MMA news. Hey guys, it's just here and Go outside. I drink my second coffee on the balcony when the sun starts to appear. Nice, it's a nice crib, man. When I get bored on my first balcony, wow. I go to the second balcony because I have two balconies. And this one's massive, just saying. And after I'm done sipping, I start packing my lunch. I drink zebras. Grape is my favorite. I made, what's that, soft boiled eggs? And this is a camping pot. Of course it's a camping pot. I use it to hold up the bag so it doesn't fall over and leak. Soy sauce, vine rice wine and vinegar. Let it marinate for a day. Push and squeeze the bag out of the cover. The pool. So those are eggs that he marinates. And what does he do? He just eats those eggs raw. 
Oh, I mean, he, I, I guess they're boiled, right? So he marinates them with the shell, and then I guess cracks them open and eats them as a treat when he's eating his lunch. He's up at 5 a.m. Look, this he's a he's a workaholic though, man. He's a fucking workaholic. He's a fucking workaholic. Let's be let's give the guy some props. He wakes up at 5 a.m. to get into the office at what nine or something, maybe eight. And he's in he's probably the last one to leave. So Brendan basically turns up when everything is set up, sits there, records, and then goes home. He doesn't even press a button. He probably has a car to enter into the fucking building. He doesn't even press a button. Nothing. He says he's a hard worker. You don't do anything. You don't do anything. All you do is sit there and let someone record you. Fucking hell. And then I start to take off my slippers and put on my shoes. Exhilarating, I know. <laughs> that was so dorky i'm sorry i'm sorry that was so fucking dorky the little camera click yeah it's like what's it called i think Quella said didn't it same thing yeah, 6k apartment cooks like a like he's homeless exactly look at the fucking look guess how, just imagine how much he's equipment he's got worth on his body look at the little camera click on his backpack the slr look <laughs> <laughs> this nigga thinks he's fucking he thinks he's fucking iron man isn't it look at him man inspect a fucking gadget <laughs> with his little slr on his clip one more time one more time <laughs> locked and loaded so much gear now use a crate so much gear that's a bar isn't it that's a that's a lyric isn't it I have so much gear now, I use a crate. Got so much gear on me, I use a crate. Uh. Of course, we need the door closed shut. Yeah, I've got security cameras everywhere, just saying. Ah, oh, you see? He knows, he knows, he knows what people have been, what I just said, see? He's got an idea, he knows, he knows. Okay, ring lights don't stop people from robbing your house, bro. Ring cameras, sorry, ring lights, ring cameras. There's, there's, a, there's a fucking Prius. Straight in. Really nice view of the mountains. <laughs> really nice, you know. Come on, brother. There's Chin. There he is. I'm kind of obsessed with all the songs I'm over one. Of. <laughs> high value mail man high fucking value mail <laughs> I love it. He's, he's permanently got the fishing rod inside of his car. It never comes out, right? The fishing rod. Just take it out of your car, brother. Into the studio. First one in. Wow. You hear it, Case? Oh, Chin's Case. What up, Case? What's up? Hello. Hard, hard work. What's up? You got it early, dog. I know. That salary is real. How much do you think Chin makes? 100k a year? 90k a year? 120? 930? How much do you think Chin makes a year? Working at Fig Boy. I know he's part of the, he's got some ownership, some shares and shit, but how much do you think he makes a year working at Fig Boy? Because if I, if looking at the stuff that he does, he should be making at least 100k minimum. He should be. He does a lot, man. Recording, editing, producing. Like, it's a lot of work. He has to be there basically from the open to close. Put on the LEDs on. 
part sucks. Since we started going live on Shorb Show, I need to move everything from T Fat K onto a live room. Why can't I just get two separate ones? They're too expensive. Because we need to most reliable gear for the live shows. This rack is insanely heavy. This is why my legs are so jacked, just saying, lols. I had the rack backwards. Yeah, I'm, why can't I just have two of those same things in separate rooms? Why do they have to have like one and you're having to like, or maybe there's a rig that you can put, or maybe there's some sort of like rig that you can put it on that you can wheel it around so if you need to take it you can just unplug it and then wheel it into the other room and plug it in you don't need to like dismantle you know what i mean it seems a bit odd but i also would imagine is it something that someone said who said it um i've got to say it but i remember somebody telling me this when, when i first went to work when you're young and you get your first job you sometimes learn very quickly from your older colleagues that you should never maybe do your work too efficiently because you then won't give yourself anything to do and you might invite the managers to give you more work to do. So if you can get away with doing the bare minimum or if you can do your job to fill up the rest of your day, you should just do it the way it's done. So I think maybe Chin enjoys, even though he says he just doesn't like it, it gives him an excuse to have more things to do. It Because it, it gives you other reasons to come into the office early. It makes you look like a good employee. So there might be a part of him that kind of doesn't want a solution because it shows exactly exactly it shows you know what I mean? it shows that you're like a good you know i don't know i think you know what i'm talking about exactly 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 adriano no it's old saying road for good work is more work don't show off dickhead <laughs> yeah exactly mr west how old was he when he got those tattoos? Probably recently. I think bodybuilder news. I don't think he was that covered recently. B before him, when I knew him, when I was aware of him. I think he got those tattoos in the, in the recent years, to be fair. But I think he's been into tattoos recently too. So it makes sense why he's starting to get covered up now. Is that redacted, by the way? Do you think that's lame? Again, I, I don't have any tattoos. So I don't know what the tattoo world people think. Is it lame to get covered up the way he is later on in life? I would assume it's better than doing it when you're younger, no? To get covered up with your late thirties, early forties, probably as a better than doing it when you're nineteen. I need my headphones. <laughs> oh come on! It's a lot of work though. Let's not lie, it's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of okay, work. Finally. It's a lot of work. The video switching monitor is wasn't working. It's a lot of fucking work. And Brendan and Brendan knows absolutely nothing about this. Zero. He just lets Chinda do all the work and he just sits there and collects the checks and makes the most money. That's the irony of it too, isn't it, right? Brendan can't record a single podcast on his own, can't edit it, couldn't upload it, but he's the one that makes the most money. <laughs> That's the that's the that's the um the negatives of fucking capitalism in some way, shape or form, isn't it, right? You in a good mood today or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. How was your weekend? Thank you for asking. <laughs> How was your weekend? <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> that's why he doesn't ask anymore. Launching Pro Tools, audio software. Hey there, buddy. Could you do me a favor and uh, just say something in the mic? Ready to test Turkey. Buffalo wings. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Casey sounds on Brennan's microphone. Whoa. Another another tough thing is trying to memorize all the details in 40 ish articles for the show. What's up? He racks up, big banner, like super late. 
It's good. Just chill. This weekend? Three, Three, six. six. Two, one. We're live. Yeah, what is poppin', fam? A little later start. <laughs> He just rocks up when it's about the time to record. He's such a fucking diva, isn't it? He's such a big time diva. He knows absolutely nothing about what's going on. He just rocks up like he's fucking Howard Stern. He rocks up like he's fucking Kevin Hart. Everything kind of gets, everything's dust for him. He just sits there, right, with his whiskey. Imagine how, in, oh, by the way, exactly, nice crisp to me on the Do you imagine how crazy it must have been when he was drinking a lot for the producers to sit there? when he was coming in with a bottle of Jameson's of Tiger Fick in the hand and pouring himself a drink in the morning at nine in the morning. Because it's kind of wild, because I think they probably record at nine or ten. Your chin's getting up at five. He probably gets into the office at probably eight. So they probably start recording at nine or ten. Brendan used to turn up to the fucking office studio with a heavy glass of whiskey at 10 a.m. in the morning, 9 a.m. in the morning. It... Wild, bro. Wild. We're about seven minutes behind the ball here. Uh, happy Monday morning. How dare you put Alonzo Menafield? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Asad, Chin does more than just run, just setting it up. He's actually also an on. He's he's also an on camera personality. So not only is he setting up the equipment. Not only is he running and organizing the shows, not only is he tracking the audio and make sure everything's recording, he's also an on-camera personality. So he has to research topics, push back, does it like he works hard, bro. Again, he might be a bit of a redact, he might be a bit of a loser. I know some of you think he's a dork, myself included, but the guy works hard and he earns every penny of his fucking salary. He probably should get more. And I've always said this from the beginning. As much as I like to laugh at fucking Chin, he needs to be making way more than he's making. And Dustin Jacoby on the early prelims. Let's go to the UFC website just to double check. Space guys. <laughs> Personality in brackets. Yeah. In, in quotes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, though. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> Personality. Because <laughs> what are you on Wiki? Yeah, usually Wiki's more correct, though, so. After the show. I have to edit an extra audio-only ad reads afterwards. Great. I was running into important issues. <laughs> uh, audio-only ad reads that Brendan probably hates doing and doesn't want to do them more than once. Damn, son. Damn, son. Damn. All right, what do you got for us, Jen? I love it. Oh, all right. First thing is uh, the Shohei Otani signing with the Dodgers. Yeah, that's for a seven hundred million dollar deal. Million. Over deal ten ever. years, I think it is. Yeah, ten years. Yeah, and they don't even know if his elbow is going to be able to pitch again. Well, he had Tommy. Got, he had Tommy John surgery. His second one. I think it's a good investment. They're smart. They're way smarter than I am. But are there loads? Of, of course. Well, thank you for letting us know that. By the way, um, is this a thing in America? Do you think there's loads of parents out there that are now pushing their kids into baseball because of this um, Japanese baseball player got that seven hundred million dollar deal. Is that a thing? Are there are, are there you reckon you reckon is it like a trend now with parents getting their kids to play softball in the hopes that they might become a fucking MLB star one day in the one day down the line? Because this is crazy. Is there any athlete that is worth seven hundred million? Really, really and truly, even Messi, seven hundred mil. Like, what are you really like? Like, what are you really generating? Like, how much of how, how much are your shirt sales? Do whatever team does he play for? Do, are all their games sold out? That's a crazy amount, isn't it? But also, it's proof that we might be close to a one billion dollar contract. We might be close to it in the near future. We might see a player get a one billion dollar contract. They'll make seven hundred mil just off merchandise through tenure. As you can see, yeah, right. This show is done. Time to edit. Time to edit, mix, and master. Edit. Jesus Christ, bro. So basically, he does everything. He basically does everything. Fuck me, bro. And it's not even like... The bad thing isn't that he does this job. The bad thing is that he has to continue doing this when he's on holiday. He can't take time off. Because this, this, these type of jobs are good when you're 
is balls to the wall when you're in the office and you're in the studio when you're, in, when you're at workplace. I don't mind. And I think I've always been like this at work. I don't know if you guys are the same. Um, when I've had really tough jobs, I don't mind working a tough job or having a tough role, having a lot of responsibility or having to put in extra hours. If it means that when I'm off the clock, I'm off the clock. Like if you want me to stay until 8 p.m., I'll do it. But once I'm clock out at 8 p.m., don't contact me again until the morning. But some jobs that want you to stay until 8 will also want to send you an email at 10. Do you know what I mean? It's like, no, that's not fair. But I also got a feeling that Chin, maybe because he has doesn't have a lot of, doesn't have much of a social life, maybe he enjoys it. Like he actually enjoys that he's has a lot on all the time. It kind of gives him stuff to kind of occupy himself. So maybe he likes it. But if I was Chin, I would like to work. If I'm working 9 to 9, fair. But then don't make me work on my holiday. Do you know what I mean? Don't make me work when I'm out fishing. That's a bit too much. But BMX, like the, the dopest dudes are a lot of times like... <laughs> Man surviving on free eggs and grape juice is funny. Rogan will be the first $1 billion contract. Oh, imagine if Rogan gets a $1 billion contract from the next streaming service he signs for because his Spotify deal is up and everyone's trying to debate where he's going to go next. It's, it's likely he'll probably just re-sign with Spotify or something, right? Or maybe he'll get like a Rumble deal or something. But imagine Rogan gets a $1 billion contract. These comedians, won't stop, they won't shut the fuck up. If Rogan gets a $1 billion contract for his, for his podcast, these comedians will not shut the fuck up about it. They'll be talking about it forever. Mostly through fucking, you know, veiled jealousy, but they won't shut the fuck up about it. Which is funny, isn't it? Rogan's the one that made the money from Spotify, but you heard more comedians that aren't him talking about his deal than him himself. All right, so the video is fully edited. As you can see there, wow. uh, I gotta wait for that. Then I'm doing the titles and descriptions for this episode as well. Wow, he even does the titles and the oh my god, bro, he does everything. So it, only thing that probably doesn't do is it, it's a thumbnails. What the fuck, bro? He does literally everything, and they still make him work while he's on holiday. He went on holiday to visit his fucking family in Korea and he had to work. Fuck. So I'll keep you guys posted. Hello there. It is now, as you can see there, 6.54, which is actually pretty early for... My eyes are bloodshot red at this time. Uh, for a Monday, considering I'm done with pretty much everything as far as uploading stuff. So I'm going to show you something real quick. This is what I'm really shocked by. So I just uploaded the Adam 22 episode and it is scheduled and it says monetization is on and there's no restrictions. This is like, this is insane because I thought for sure this episode would be flagged because of all the porn talk and like the cuss words in the beginning. I just test uploaded because I knew it's going to be flagged anyways, or I thought it would be flagged anyways. So I just test uploaded. And there's no restrictions. It's pretty crazy. The algorithm with YouTube is so freaking crazy. And uh, anyway, I'm going to show you that and I'll show you something else. So we're now with a place called Podcast One. And uh, everyone I've talked to and had meetings with, they're awesome. But their CMS, their content management system. <laughs> Podcast One, the deal that got Theo pissed off, bro podcast fucking one eh of course they're with podcast one brendan got a fucking milli do you reckon brendan gave anyone a part of that 1.6 mil he was owed but from podcast one do you think he gave brian and chin 10k from that or you just keep it for himself he definitely kept it to himself in it he did not break off a little chunk and give it to his team hey man thank you for sticking by me thank you for being a good team for being loyal nah he didn't break them up a little 10k no way their hosting site it's terrible. And by the way, they don't control it. It's just, I don't of know how it's they don't. Of course done, they don't. but um, of course they the don't. people I talk to, they they also have the same complaints I do. This stuff sucks. So putting in ads, so or even like, so these are live reads, the blue. So that's a baked in read. Um, so I have to like s grab it and select the entire read and click live read. 
And then I have to insert dynamic insertion and ad reads as well. And just this, the system just is so bad. Um, yeah. Brendan should really should have somebody doing this as their own job, right? But again, I, I, I've got a feeling that Chin likes to have all these jobs under his umbrella because it gives him something to do. Um, he obviously enjoys probably working. He's probably a workaholic in that regard, but he does a lot, man. For what He's a one-man army, bro. He runs that entire studio by himself. I don't even know. What does Casey do then? If Chin sets up all the cameras, records, edits, does the descriptions and titles, what does that Casey guy do that was in, in the office before him? What does Casey do? I'm sure that's boring for you guys, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to pack up my stuff and uh, turn off all this stuff and then head home and uh, get something to eat. Okay, Chin. Good job, bro. Good job, brother. Turning off the lights. Walking around. LEDs are off now. Let's go. Alrighty, it is now 7.18 or 7.14 p.m. I'm all packed up, ready to go. There's my little crate. Mm. I have to double check everything once I get home as well. Mm. And I'll probably bring you guys along for that too. Um, yeah, so let's get out. I love the little fucking clip of the SLR on his backpack. Why don't you just put it in a bag separately? Why is it clipped on this? Like, it's so funny. <laughs> It's so Inspector Gadget dorky, but I love it. I love it. I love it. That SLR is probably worth a lot of money as well, isn't it? That's a that's a big that's a massive fucking lens. That is not cheap. That's probably how much would you say that camera is? Probably 10k itself. I'm sure that bag is a specialist bag as well. It's a specialist camera bag guy thing, right? Like he he walks around with some fucking bits on him. He might drive a Prius, but this guy is dripping. Out of here. Let's go home. Actually. I'll probably stop by Ralph's real quick, but we'll see. All right. Either way, see you at home. Okay. All right. Let's listen to... Of course. This whole country lark as well is odd, isn't it? Like, what's is that because it's the most popular genre now in the States? This whole fucking country music thing is always odd. It seems like everybody's starting to, f like, their whole studio suddenly has discovered country music at the same time. They're all LARPing as, like, Austin, Texas guys with the mullets and the trucker hats and shit. It's a little bit cringy, isn't it? Is it real? I don't know. When he takes his glasses off, his eyes look wild, isn't it? Is he a bit cross-eyed? Okay, so where is he? Korean barbecue again? See that, but I decided to go to Ralph's. Okay, cool. Let's get some stuff and go home. Sometimes he comes over and uh, he's in the living room and I'm in the tiny room and I'm like, "Yo, kids, don't percent better and it's in color. It's very." So the funny thing is, he says he's listening to UFC Unfiltered with Matt Serra and Jim Norton. So the funny thing is. Chin maybe listens to and watches way more MMA UFC content than Brendan, isn't it? He's probably way more clued up on re the recent goings on in mixed martial arts and the UFC and PFL and um, Bellator. When that was, I mean, he's probably still he's probably plugged in way more than Brendan is. That's the funny thing because I don't think Brendan listens to fucking UFC podcasts outside of stealing talking points from Luke Thomas. Very good. Oh, yeah, nice. I just want... Sometimes they go back and retroactively do that, but I, I would love to see a film that's Ooh. been kind of made for VR. That's a nice view, huh? I guess. Big ass thing I appreciate it, brother. 
just a reminder that Chin is yeah, older yeah. than Bapa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But to be fair, it's different. I think when you're Asian, they have a... I think African people have that as well. As Af- Some Africans have that def- um, deference, that almost weird, aggressive humility, respecting when somebody is paying you. You're like, hi, sir, hi, sir. You're kind of like always like, you know, bowing and, you know acting like a little bit subservient. So I think Asian people have the same thing black people have. So that's why he's probably acts the way he does with Brendan. Even though he's older than him, he kind of acts like he's younger than him. You know, to play that, you know, there's something in there. There's something in there, I think. All right, finally back home. It is now like 8 something p.m. I'll let you know the exact time once I get into my apartments. Bad boy kicking in his Amazon delivery. He's a fucking bad boy. He's a hard boy. He's a fuck boy. He's kicking in his Amazon deliveries. All right, we back. We back home. It's a nice fucking crib, man. Let's not lie. No word of a lie. So, oh, I hate the fucking shuffling and the dragging of the feet. Fucking hell. Um, but it's a fucking lovely crib. Two balconies great views like you know basically looking at things from you know whatever puts it panoramic whatever that fucking thing is you know windows everywhere and shit nice big open plan kitchen living area and shit nice red bedroom great bathroom like, he's actually got a really nice place i'm not gonna lie look the slapping it's like he's getting it's like someone's fucking clapping his cheeks it's like he's getting fucking fucked like every time he's walking you hear that that's that's how he's walking That's him. Like, it's like, fucking hell, bro. This is, I don't like this, but if I, t- if I turn this off, then it turns on. These, I don't know what the- Maybe replace the switches, isn't it, a little bit? The switch design's a bit shit. Maybe replace those. What the hell these things do? I gotta ask the maintenance people what these do. Alrighty. Time to relax. Oof. Definitely a man's, that's definitely a man's, apartment isn't it? that's definitely a bachelor's apartment the lack of fucking furniture and furnishing is wild bro there's like a trap house isn't it i think whatever whatever came in the house he just used i don't think he bought anything Dude. else there's, there's already there's a there's an air conditioning unit there i'm assuming right a fan a tv but there's nothing else bro it's like sparse isn't it Ta- C- a couple of cushions that probably came with a seti too Time to relax and then also check on stuff. Hardly anything in there. <laughs> stuff. I don't know if you can see me clearly, but okay. Jesus. Yeah, that's definitely male living. Exactly, exactly. That's definitely r slash male living space. There's nothing. So before I can feel somewhat like, I don't know, not relaxed, but so before I can feel more comfortable <laughs> after coming home, I have to double check the emails and also double check my audio upload. And yeah, he's he's a workaholic, brother. He doesn't need to do this. He could just go straight to bed. He doesn't need to do this. He could go straight to bed. He definitely enjoys working. He's a workaholic. He definitely is part of his identity to be working the way he does. He wants to feel, you know, it matters. It's important. It kind of gives him some level of a uh, purpose, especially if you're that old. You don't have a partner or a family and stuff. You probably have a lot of free time. So why not work? You know. Because what else would he be doing? Like, you know, busting in his hand seven times a day. So he's better off doing that. But yeah, he definitely enjoys working the way he does because he doesn't need to take his work home. He could easily finish at six and seven, go home and just, you know, chill. But he chooses to double check things, double check this, double check. You can just double check it while you're at work before you leave. You can upload it, get it done. And then before you actually step out, double check it before you actually leave and then kind of like turn everything off. You don't need to take it home with you. And the video upload just to be sure even though i've double checked at the studio exactly I still wanna... so he double checks at the studio and then triple checks it when he gets at home yeah workaholic for real workaholic um for real triple check at my home studio the exposure was so crazy earlier but now it's like a little darker i don't know what's happening uh, I like the standing desk though. I like the setup in that room. Yeah, so who's he? Yeah, he said it right. That's who he really cares about. You can tell. Good observations. Yeah, I was about to say that same same thing. 
I was about to say the same thing, Z. I said the standard desk is really nice. And actually, the way he set up this room is really cool too. But as Z mentioned, this is the one room he actually does care about. Because this is the room that he does these recordings for his music shit. Records other bits of whatever. When he does tunes with a little browser, he does it in there. This is where all these cameras are, all these electronics and shit. So this is the room that really matters the most to him. Do you know what I mean? Outside of TFAT K, this is the most important room in his life. Let's take you off of this here. As you can see, it says, and this is the CMS for podcast one. It says Adam 22 T5K 951 scheduled for 12, 12, 2023. And I'll show you exactly what time it's coming out. You can see there 12, 12, 23 at 2 a.m. is a release. And then I did all the, I mentioned before, all riveting, the riveting different content, man. Riveting content. We live read stuff. stuff A little riveting. too much info for you guys, but content. yeah. So that's ready to go. That looks good. Let's go to the YouTube part of it. All right, so that's Adam22, you see there. So far, scheduled still. Uh -huh. I'll show you the schedule. It says December 12th, 2023, 6 a.m., which is what we do it. normally. Monetization is on. Restrictions none, which I said I'm <laughs> earlier. I said I'm kind of surprised by. And uh, yeah, so everything looks good so far. And at this point, at this point, you're boring, bro. Wow, is this your life? Nothing dude, else. The colors look crazy on this thing. No food, intelligent, auto. no hanging out with friends, I don't know, what this hell, no better. going to a fucking sex shop or something, having a wank in the park. Look better, I don't know. Nothing, anyway, just this. But at this point, now I can be like, all right, I feel comfortable okay. enough to just relax a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, you go check have some food, bed. maybe a sip, you know? Uh -huh. Maybe. Uh -huh. I'll probably have a sip. Yeah, have some food and then just relax. And then I'll check probably again. check one more time before I go to bed. Oh, my God. So he double checks it in the studio. He triple checks it when he gets home. And then after he's had his dinner, he's watched some TV. He's wanked to some fucking content online. Bust on his hands. Washed his hands. He then double checks it again. Triple, qu quadruple checks it again before he goes to sleep. Fucking hell, bro. No wonder Brendan loves him. No wonder he's never getting fired. Fucking hell. This is this is like employee of the decade fucking services. It's so unnecessary too. If you double check it at work, that should be enough. You upload it there. You double check it while you're there. Then once you leave that office, you should be able to carry on your life. That's a, like that that kind of work life balance is horrendous, bro. No amount of money can would allow me to like work what for, for fifteen hours a day or something. Basically, he's pulling in fifteen hour shifts. If you include every time he's on his computer, he might be doing like fifteen hour shifts. Maybe like what and then i'll wake up tomorrow morning no he doesn't severe design no he doesn't no he doesn't severe design no he doesn't no he doesn't severe design saying he gets paid 25k a year no don't say that don't say that no way if he gets paid 25k a year he needs to nah that's insane there's no way you can pay get paid 25k a year he must be on 100 at least he should be on 100 at least he should be on 150 200 in my opinion considering how much he does but 100 at least he should be on there's no way you can he can't even pay his fucking um he can't even pay his rent because he's, he's rent like six grand or something remember when we when we watched uh him moving into his his, his apartment his grand his, his rent is like 6k a month isn't it you can't pay that with fucking 25k morning around like six just to make sure everything's good to go uh so that's pretty much a night for me on a monday I hope you guys enjoyed. Fuck yeah. By the way, I forgot to mention what time it is. At least invite, just at least, I don't know, go. Do you remember back in the day when, when people used to fuck on Craigslist and shit? Put up an ad on Craigslist, man. Tell them you're a young, strapping Asian man. You can host by yourself, apartment in LA and shit. People will come down. Come on, bro. Get some action in that house, bro. Get some fucking action. You see that right 8 there. so he basically works nine to nine like i said because he, has, he hasn't checked so what i said was true he basically works nine to nine 
Fucking hell, bro. Nine to nine, you know? Or eight to nine, even. It's not that late, but it's 8.16 p.m. I got up at 5. Yeah, exactly. You know, Adriano, you know. Real guys know. Real men didn't know about Craigslist back in the day. Craigslist personals back in the day, that was a situation. Back in the day, before I had a fucking wife and family and shit, right? And my 700 kids. That Craigslist shit was, it was lit. It was fucking lit. <laughs> 30, got to the studio at eight. So yeah, that's how that goes. All right, I'm gonna eat some food. The stew is boiling right now. This is what my mom and dad- What's that shabu shabu my parents made me when they visited? Wow. That's nice, isn't it? Nice and kind of sad his parents made him soup before he left, but it's nice, that's cool. They gave me, and then I have my panchan that my mom and dad gave me as well. And this is the raw beef that I'm gonna dip in there. To make it like actually for those of you in the stream chat that are asian is there social pressure for guys to get married as much as there is for girls in asian culture i know for african people it's the same guys get as much pre like my mom pressures me about that all the time so I've, I've men get pressured just as much as women is it the same as is the same in asian culture or does or do men get less pressure to get married because I can imagine his parents turning up to his lovely apartment in LA thinking, look at all this room. There's no kids here, no wife. Look at all this space you have here all by yourself. Like he probably must get it every single day when they come. Every time he visits them, every time they visit him, they probably on his ass about it. Like I'm going to dip it like for like a few seconds. Oh, cool. at his age, they gave up. <laughs> yeah, probably true. <laughs> yeah. Chin literally lives to work. Yeah, there is. Yes. So it's Kyle K. Tony. Okay. Seconds and then eat it because I like it raw. So this. Yo, pause, bro. To make it like, I'm gonna dip it like for like a few seconds and then eat it because I like it raw. So to make it like, I'm gonna dip it like for like a few seconds and then eat it because I like it raw. So, to make it like, I'm gonna dip it like for like a few seconds and then eat it because I like it raw. So, me as well. A few seconds and then eat it because I like it raw. And yip, which is a uh, perilla leaf, and eat it because I like it raw. So this is in Korean. It's called genyip, which is like it raw. So this is in Korean. It's called genyip, which is a uh, dip it like for like a few seconds and then eat it because I like it raw. And then eat it because I like it raw. And then eat it because I like it raw. And then eat it because I like it raw. And then eat it because I like it raw. So and then eat it because I like it raw. So this is in Korean. It's called genyip, which is a uh, perilla leaves, which I love. And this is gochu. This is just basically peppers, and then uh, this is garlic. He eats well, though, to be fair. I know he cooks like shit, but the ingredients that he does get look really appetizing. I know he cooks like absolute dog doo-doo, but the ingredients that he gets, the raw materials, look really good. The produce looks really good, no? I'm going to eat all this stuff together, and I'm going to enjoy it. And then this is uh, Samjang. <sighs> why is he like eating with a cutting board so much on the table what's this all about like what what's the deal with having the cutting board as another plate thing like maybe it's a cultural thing he loves that maybe he did it with the breaded thing like he uses the cutting board for everything like what's the deal with the cutting board on the dinner and why has he got like 17 coasts i don't know look look too much Oh yeah, no dishes. <laughs> yeah, true, Josie. I didn't even think about that. That's true. Honestly, the, the the psychos that like eating on paper plates, you guys are odd. Eating everything on a paper plate is wild to avoid cleaning up because then you just double the amount of rubbish you have to chuck. You know what I mean? Yes, you don't eat on paper plates, but then you have way more rubbish to throw away because you're fucking filling up your recyclables or your bin, whatever, full of fucking cardboard paper plates and shit. Again, lovely home, really lovely home, big fucking, you know, um, what do you call it? High ceilings, loads of natural light coming in, well furnished, wood floors, looks like a warm place. You know, he's in his shorts and t-shirt in, indoors, doesn't have to put the heating on or whatever. Cool, but it's just, you know, it's just empty and lonely. I don't know. A little bambino, a little doggy, 
might might kind of warm the place up a bit. Do you know what I mean? A little bit of personality, a, another living being, another heartbeat. You know, <laughs> even a little tarantula in a box that might actually help. I mean, of course, awesome. But to be fair, this is a much better vlog. This is one of the better ones he's done. It's kind of boring. There's not much going on. But in terms of a vlog, it's probably the better, the uh, better one that he's done in a while, to be fair. Um, I did enjoy it as a viewing thing, you know? Um, maybe not the best insight into his life or something, but hey. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, Chin deserves all the money in the world. He probably does not going to get it, but hey. He does deserve it. He really does deserve it. But hey, what can you do? What can you do?